The one of the very next things that you're probably going to want to do at home, uh, if you're recording, uh, pr probably a lot of you guys have loops that you work with, and you want to import a loop into your session and and uh, and use it. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to import audio into your own uh, into your own session. So it's a really uh, it's a really simple thing to do. What we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the file menu, and we're going to go down to import. And there's a few options here, session data, audio, MIDI, video, you can actually do video, uh, region groups. And we're just going to hit audio. And the hotkey for this is Shift Apple I. And that is going to bring up the import audio dialog box, which is a, uh, a nice big box that shows you a bunch of options for importing. My audio that I want to import is on my Raptor drive. So I'm going to click Raptor. It's just one of my hard drives. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to double click loops. And I have a sorted by BPM because I want to find a loop that's 120 beats per minute, which is what my session tempo is set at. Double click that. And I got a bunch of loops in here, a bunch of different tempos. Here's some that are 120. So let's, uh, let's click on one of these, hopscotch. And I'm going to go down here to the, to, the, to the bottom of the dialog box. And you, there's a little, it's a really cool feature. You can preview the loop before you bring it in. So, you know, if it's not right for the session, you don't have to uh, uh, needlessly import it. So I'm going to click play here. That's pretty nice, but that's not quite right for what I'm, uh, uh, I'm looking for. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another one here. That's nice too, but I... I think I heard this one earlier. Yeah, that's just a nice simple, a nice simple beat. Now, if you look right here, uh, it shows you what type of file it is. It's a WAV file. It shows you the length, it shows you the size, the bit depth, and the sample rate. Now, if you remember, when we started our session, we did our session at 24 bits, 48K. And as you can see, this, uh, the bit depth of this file is 16 bits and it's 44.1k so I'm gonna need to convert it now I'm selected on here and that puts it in uh, in this little dialog box here and I have to hit convert so it's gonna convert it up to uh, up to 48k so that it plays back in the right speed and that it's right for our session uh, once I do that I'm just gonna go over here and click done Then it's going to ask me where I want to store it. Now, it, it, uh, it automatically pulls up the right place to store it. So don't mess with that. Just click Choose. And now it's going to ask me, now, do you want to put this in the regions list or do you want to put it on a new track? Now, I can, I can just keep it in the regions list if I don't want to use it right now and I want to you know, mess with it later. Uh, but for me right now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it uh, uh, on a new track, on its own track, and click OK. And there it is. Uh, right under our acoustic track there, we have, uh, we have some drums, and I'll, I'll just play that. We've got a nice, got a nice fill in there, which is great. Um, but anyway, so you can see uh, that, it's, that it's really easy to, uh, to import audio. Um, uh, into your session and the possibilities are sort of limitless with this and of course you don't only have to import loops you can import um, audio from other sessions you know you can trade files with people and and things like that and uh, that should get you uh, should get you where you want to go and in the next section we're going to talk about how to manipulate some of this audio how to do some effects on it and how to really get uh, really get it sounding good inside of Pro Tools. Thank you.